I'm Paul Holofko, and this is how to start your grapevine. Really, the, the trick to starting your grapevine is knowing what kind of grapevine you're going to be getting, so where you buy it from, and what time of year that you need to, to purchase it. If you're interested in starting a grapevine, start it really in the spring. You can get bare root uh, grapevines where you buy it for pressionally. If you want to get a, a Chardonnay or, or a Zinfandel, those are generally uh, omega grafted uh, grapevines. They have the root for your lousy soil and then they have the scion, which is actually the grape um, that you're trying to grow on the top and they fuse them together. Those you generally buy online and you get them and you can plant them within about a month as soon as you receive them. All right, so this is a, a potted one where basically it's not a bare root, but it's a potted one. And you got to start the same thing, two nodes here. This one has basically we're in the fall right now, so we're clipping it for really the new harvest. So I'm just clipping these two buds. And in this case, I got one here, three. I think I'm going to leave three because this bud doesn't look too good. So I'll leave three right here. And here. This one looks good, this one looks good, so I'm going to leave it right there. So this is going to be a new start that I'm going to actually have in the fall. Generally, you don't do it in the fall, but in this case, I got the grape plant here, and we can put it in. You just keep it watered, and you'll be fine. We start with the pot, and we want to first examine the roots. So basically, get the pot off your grapevine, and you want to take a look at the roots. You'll find out in the bottom here, there is a roots growing. And what you need to do is you need to rough this up in order to be able to break it. A lot of times what will happen is if the roots are encased in a pot and then they have a particular shape about them, they'll actually just keep circling around and around and around and they'll never actually go out into the soil. So by breaking them up is, is really the way to do it. Now, if you can find the tap root, in this particular case, I can't. So the tap root's probably straight down. I can actually put it into the, into the uh, hole. All right, so once you have the plant in, you can then tie it up next year. So this is the trellis that's gonna be tied up to. Put a wire up here, tie it up, and it can grow all the way up to the top as a, as a canopy. In this particular case, since we're doing it in the fall, we have to wait through the winter, just water it, just get the thing established and get it going. And then you just can worry about the new growth and new shoots that come out from these buds later on next year. Um, one thing I'm also doing is putting this next to companion planting. This is a lavender. So what you want to do is when you plant new starts and plant grapes, you want to keep it in a group with the same type of micro ecosystem uh, similar to the grape itself. So woody perennials like lavender or herbs, oregano, or any of those type of woody perennials planted by the roots of your, of your grapes will actually help keep the soil ecosystem and food chain appropriate for grapes.